Ozark is standing tall in central Kentucky tonight. After two years of construction, a massive replica is both a Christian theme park and a lightning rod for critics. CBS 2's Mark Strassman has more. This is the Ark Encounter, a chapter from Genesis told on a $100 million budget. Four floors of Noah, his family, and beasts, great and small. In this rendition, they sail first class through the watery chaos outside. And seeing it is a privilege and a pilgrimage to the DeMarcus family. What are your first impressions? This is breathtaking. It's amazing. The detail, just even outside, as soon as we walked up, it's just draw dropping. This timber frame arc was built with help from 100 Amish craftsmen, following specs straight from the pages of Genesis. It stands seven stories tall and runs 510 feet long. That's almost two football fields. Something to consider. This ark's Christian backers consider themselves young earth creationists. That means evolution, junk science. The earth is only 6,000 years old. Do you believe there were dinosaurs and people at the same time? Absolutely. Yep, I absolutely do. I believe they walked hand in hand. Ken Ham, the ark's 64-year-old visionary, make yourself an ark leads a ministry called Answers in Genesis. The truth is the Word of God, and we are faithfully, as faithfully as we can, representing what God's Word teaches. Mr. Bill Nye and Mr. Ken Ham. In 2014, Ham debated the truth with Bill Nye, known as the science guy on television. I take Genesis as literal history, as Jesus did. More than five million people have watched it online. You don't want to raise a generation of science students who don't understand how we know our place in the cosmos. Critics complain of discrimination in hiring. Only Christians, no gays or lesbians, and single people have to sign a chastity pledge. And yet the project received $18 million in Kentucky tax incentives, which a federal court upheld. Jim Helton of Tri-State Freethinkers thinks that tramples the line between church and state. Noah's Ark is a church. It is clearly a religious point of view that says science is false. Gay people are icky. Now, protesters gathered today at the grand opening. Officials hope to draw 2 million visitors to the Ark this year.